He's James Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> I misfit way of life. Come <laughs> on. It's Hello. me again. It's me again. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to, um... Produce... Reacts to songs... That I did. <laughs> Welcome to... Fucking... Dickhead... What real music <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So... Is this the EP? Um... Yes, this is the EP. So, for... Audience perspective... And... My own personal YouTube channel... Hi! Uh, this is my face. <laughs> <laughs> um... And... If you haven't already known by every other fucking previous video I've ever fucking made, um, I'm in a deathcore band. <laughs> I'm joined with my friend Red Lauder. Um, I've, we've just gone and checked out his fucking uh, Mega Doom EP track. That was a joke, but he took real serious all of a sudden. <laughs> Um, I gave it a solid 7.8 and he accepted that rating. <laughs> so we're still here. <laughs> so we're still here recording on cool things and having a great time. <laughs> we're on to cooler things now. Serious things? <laughs> we're on to Ryan's In Debt, the EP. We're, we're, on, <laughs> we're on to... Uh, I'm broke! <laughs> Because he spent so much money on making this fucking get your banger home. of a fucking product. It's not, it's not that great. <laughs> <laughs> I don't admit to anything. <laughs> I'll be the judge. All right. Fine. Coming from a uh, metal baby. Uh, what, what am I listening to? <laughs> well, uh, let's try and list some shit. Like pipes dropping on the floor. On the <laughs> metal pipes. <laughs> Okay, so this I'm getting I'm getting my finger on the pulse and joining the scene. I'm taking his virginity. <laughs> <laughs> the banger intro track. That's about as long as one of my tracks. <laughs> oh fuck me, why did I even make mine? <laughs> <laughs> Context, the song's in drop G. <laughs> so it's seventh string territory. I do... I do all the lower half, like lower than this. You definitely know what I'm singing. Fuck me. 
Satan. <laughs> yeah, I'm starting to feel like Blood Red was more of a jerk again. <laughs> They're programmed? They're programmed. Okay. That's why it's so fucking perfectly... <laughs> it's about to be like, you're Mark. You're <laughs> Yeah, Mark presses the space by here and there. Oh, great drum. I've gotten so many people coming to like, go, the drums sound sick, bro. And I'm like, thanks. <laughs> I didn't, I, they were sampled. <laughs> no, they weren't, <laughs> bro. Oh. <laughs> Better than just logic with. Is <laughs> there logic drums? <laughs> drums? A couple of them. Let's move on. Okay. I'm excited. So this is the single. This is the second single. Nice. <laughs> we groove it. We groove it. <laughs> now we've got one. <laughs> Still by far my favourite line of this EP. I feel the fucking overlord sleep sadly in their beds. Fuck the government. Fuck the government. Hey, that's our EP. <laughs> The coat I was wearing in the promos was like an old Soviet captain's jacket. What the fuck? It's about cycles and chains. And communists. And then getting the bank. What the fuck? It's hard for an idiot like me to really understand all the lyrics. Oh, uh, it takes a while to understand. And like, Scream lyrics. So if you're listening to a new album, come out. Not I would, I could hear it. But that's because I listen to this for a living, so I'm very used to it. Alright, now this is my personal favourite, this next one. Yeah. Most technically difficult track. sort of high guitar parts and things so like happening in the fucking back like obviously it's a fucking crazy metal album but there's a lot of shit happening in the high end oh it's yeah like, like you don't realise it's doing how, how much there is yeah. until you like sit there and you're like oh fuck there's a bit there yeah and a bit over there whoa <laughs> Satan's 
dicks on the table! <laughs> You're fucking trapped in those parts. So it's like fucking dark and long. <laughs> If there is, it's very fucking small. Because it's very difficult to pitch correct screams. Yeah. Because like or like fucking certain auto-tune apps just go. Not clear. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> me, man. What the fuck? <laughs> That's what I've been working on. <laughs> <laughs> fuck, I feel like I had something to say and I've just been gone. It's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Look, there's a lot to unpack. Yeah. That's like just a first listening, obviously, but. As especially to a, in quotation, non metal head. Yeah. I mean, uh, how would you characterize, like, deathcore kind of thing? <laughs> there's, there's a lot of metal subgenres out there. Well, like, okay. What makes this stand out from thrash metal? Because this has got some fucking... Well, okay, we have stuff. elements of thrash, we've got elements of slam, we've got elements okay. of metalcore. You almost went to fucking funeral metal for a second. Nearly went to black metal. <laughs> 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 but, um... No, what makes us different to most deathcore bands, I, I, I would say, just being open-minded, is that most deathcore bands try to perceive or sound the same as another deathcore band, mm. as they don't experiment on the feature of, well, what if we take something from a completely unexisting genre that doesn't relate to it at all? Yeah. Most modern deathcore bands now, you don't know what the main part is. Okay. So like with this, with Voidwalker, you know the main part is right. If you listen to another deathcore track of our era, like going into twenty twenty two onwards, it's very hard to audibly hear what's the chorus, what's the verse, what's this, what's that. Right. Fucking. But yeah, they're. Talking about like classic sounds, I'm, I'm almost picturing like, would you ever consider like regular sung vocals with like harmonies in there and shit? Yes, of yeah. course. <laughs> we're actually we we're actually having a discussion last night. <laughs> we we're currently working on the next EP. Um, I obviously can't say too much about it because there isn't a lot to talk about. Yeah. <laughs> All I know is that we have a theme and we have enough tracks to call it an EP. But one of the tracks are a lot softer than what's on here. Mm. Like, we're talking clean guitar melodies. Okay. Oh. And, like, the guitar... We've got heavy guitars that complement the clean melody. And then we've combined the clean guitar with distorted guitar and made it sound like a synth. And then okay. use it yeah. as an underlay to what, you know, the vibe is. And I... I eventually brought up the fact, like, hey, yo, imagine having a female vocal in this track. Like, it would be fucking sick. The band's like, oh, I don't know, like, go fuck it, I don't fucking... It. Fuck it. It's like up, an up-in-the-air thing, but there is bands out there that have put in clean vocals, like a band called Voyager. They play heavy like this, but they're all clean vocals. And then there's bands like Alpha Wolf that are full scream, but they have a softer song with like a female vocal yeah. where they're doing melodies with scream and clean vocals. So yeah, just being open-minded. Literally yeah. be like, open-minded. <laughs> one that you can do more than just what's on offer here, which is already 
A shit ton. A shit ton. Yeah. And the thing, like, it makes us different. It makes us stand out that yeah. we're trying different shit that you don't typically see anymore or that it would kind of be seen as weird or awkward, but we've merged it in a way that it's not well, like there's that. there's so much, like, people just will put Spotify on shuffle or put a playlist on and hear all this different shit all the time. So I think, why can't one artist shift up, change their genre or whatever? Or and inspire someone else? Yeah. Like, exactly. Like, we want our music to connect to people. And with Voidwalker, the whole EP itself was about mental struggle. So Voidwalker itself, the creature of Wendigo fucking hybrid you see on the fucking artwork, is actually a creature of like a like an ex relationship or abusive relationship. Oh. So like for example like to tell you the perspective of Voidwalker, Voidwalker is a creature that lynches onto those that are happy, takes their happiness away from them to the point of death. So it basically makes them kill themselves and marks them for life. Hmm. <laughs> heavy themes for some fucking heavy ass. <laughs> no, that's fucking tough. And then a hundred seconds is related to the doomsday clock. Um, when we wrote the song, like it takes a hundred seconds for the world to end. Yeah. So human overconsumption. Uh, let's be green. Uh, <laughs> then the strings they pull is about the government and the media corrupting our minds and put like false advertising and like all this propaganda yeah. and stuff happening, especially in Australia. A lot of propaganda happens here that I don't think we pick up on because we're so used to it. It's so, well, you look at the U S and, and how obvious it is. Oh yeah. The U S it's like, <laughs> it's, it's very obvious where the propaganda is here. It's very hard to see. It's very hard to see. And that's, with that, like, when we have these songs and we talk about these topics, it makes people think, oh, whoa, like, this shit actually does happen and we don't realise it. Yeah. And then Entropy of Twine is pretty self-explanatory. Cut the new suicide. <laughs> <laughs> um, literally, I think there's a line in there where it's like, it's self-destruction, I close my eyes, uh suspended by the victim wrapped my neck in twine um and then it's like my vision's fading the spinal odds my mind goes black separated from my spine like his neck is separating from reality shit <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> and then toxic messiah i think is about drug abuse and like all that stuff like there's a line in there it's like swallow the poison medicate it's determining my fate the product of hate because drugs make you hate everything mm. and, and usually drug abuse comes from a hatred past so i was thinking even like celebrities or figures of and that too like, like yeah, celebrities have messiahs. very toxic like toxic desires yeah, and we swallow their poison kind of thing exactly yeah. there's a lot of multiple portrayals which is why it connects so yeah. well to people there's multiple ways to interpret it that's cool as much as it's screaming and nonsense that some people can't understand. <laughs> <laughs> there is themes. There's actually some art there. We... <laughs> <laughs> I'm just getting on stage going... <laughs> <laughs> but just based on like aesthetics and production and like all the hard work and effort that I've seen go going into this. Like I'm so impressed. Like just to know you. <laughs> so, don't make me cry bro <laughs> as a as a complete package I, there's not anything else i really would have wanted from that i'd be happy to give that like a nine out of ten fat fat <laughs> like fat numbers boy <laughs> like if there's room for improvement i wouldn't know what to improve but <laughs> i definitely do <laughs> i'll teach you the genres very well all right. Uh, oh, yeah, I got a lot to learn for my. Uh, I got to step up my game for Blood Red Two. <laughs> for Blood Red Two. <laughs> Blood Blue. But Blood Blue. Yeah. All right. Well. All right. Sick. That thanks, is. Thanks for coming. Thanks for inviding me. We'll do it again next time. I hope this. Do it again. <laughs>